सदाशिव समारंभां शंकराचार्य मध्यमाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणी नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव भादरायण सूत्रभाष्यत वंदे भगवत पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्याप्तदेहाय कृष्णमूर्त नम सहना सहनो मृत्यु सह वीर करवाहै तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्तुषावै ओं शांति 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 ब्रह्मांडातपूर्वेदाच प्रतिमोति तस्म तुम हति मूर्ति प्रकाश मोक्षुरे शरण हूं प्रपद्ये ओं शांति 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 आमनायांत्रिकसंसिधमाधिमज्जातर्जित आनंदघनमापूर्णमात्मज्योतिपास्मे In the last part, of, we looked at the uh, Haradi Karna. We completed the Sutra there. Yeah. So the Haradi Karna, starting with fourteen and ending with uh, twenty-one. The next Haradi Karna is introduced in the Vritti as a Prasanga Sangati. So prasanga duktam. So something comes up in a context of something else. So one thing reminds you of another. The mind wanders there. So we know all this. Similarly here, when Jyoti was discussed earlier, there was some Jyoti he discussed earlier in the sutras. Some mantras were looked at, Chandogya mantras. So Brahm mantra will pop up because Jyoti he. ज्योति उपासना इज देर इन बृहदारणिका ऑल्सो इन मुंडक ऑल्सो ज्योतिष शब्द इज देर देर फोर दैट ज्योतिष शब्द एल्सवेर इन दूत्र वेर दिशया इज सम मंत्र वेर ज्योतिष शब्द इज यूज दैट कैन ट्रिगर सम अदर मंत्र फ्रॉम सम अदर उपनिषद एंड एन इंक्वायरी हेज टू बी डन on that jyotish shabda as to what is the context there in this context we have said that it is upasana or jnana or what jyotish shabda means it means para brahma itself whatever you have concluded you have to look at the other upanishad mantras which talk about jyoti as well so that is the prasanga so purvam param jyoti upasampadya there was a chandogya 8 chapter mantra discussed वाक्यार्थ विचार प्रसंगात सो कॉन्टेक्स्ट वाज दी विचार ऑन ज्योति ही शब्द इन दैट मंत्र वाक्य देर वाक्यार्थ विचार विचार वाज डन एंड प्रसंगात व्हाट केम अप तुभ्रम ज्योतिषाम ज्योति ही देन आयुर्पास्ते अमृतम so there are multiple such words there which are related to jyotish shabda and they are spread across different upanishads so tachubram jyotisham jyotihi param jyoti rupa sampadya meaning having attained that param jyoti paramatma was the conclusion there after vakya artha vichara and in the prasanga tachubram jyotisham jyoti so jyotisham api jyotihi tachubram That bright jyoti, what kind of jyoti? Compared to all other jyotis, among all jyotis, this jyoti he shines forth the most. So it is Paramatma again. That is the <coughs> Munda ka mantra. I'm sorry, Munda ka mantra. And then Brahm mantra, Ayur ho upasthe amrutam. So upasana is discussed there. Ayur. उपासते अमृतम सॉरी उपासते अमृतम आयुर् उपासते अमृतम सो देर ऑल्सो ज्योति इज डिस्कस्ड दैट ज्योति उपासते उपासना इज बी इज डन ऑन दैट दे डू उपासना ऑन 
that jyoti as ayuhu in the form of ayushya so in brahadarnaka mantra such kind of a context is set there similarly in mundaka further इति वाक्योक्त परंज्योतिष्ट साधक न तत्र सूर्य इत्यादि वाक्य विचार्य प्रसंग संगत सो लुकिंग एट दि छांदोग्य मंत्र मुंडक मंत्र तुभ्रम ज्योतिषा ज्योति देन बृहद मंत्र आयुर्वो उपासते अमृत ज्योतिष इट से ज्योति इज मेडिटेटेड अपॉन एज ayuhu the upasya jyoti in the upasana is seen as ayuhu iti vakyokta param jyotishta sadakam so param jyoti sadaka what is that which helped one conclude the meaning of the vakya as dealing with param jyoti hi param jyoti hi then ज्योतिषाम ज्योति देन ज्योति आयुर् हो उपासते अमृत दट अमृत अमृत शब्द सो वॉट इज दैट लेट वन कंक्लूड दैट इट इज परम ज्योति एंड वॉट इज इज परम ज्योति अगेन न त्र सूर्य इत्यादि वाक्यम विचार्य सो दी वन दैट हेल्प कंक्लूड the meaning of the param jyoti shabda that is being looped into in mundaka upanishad there is a follow on mantra na tatra surya ityadi vakyam na tatra suryo bhati na chandra tarakam ityadi mantra that mantra is being analyzed in the next section ityadi vakyam vicharyate iti prasanga sangatya idamaha the prasanga based on the context that has gone by another pops up now so that is the sangati here and thereby anukruti adhikaranam is introduced anukruti adhikaranam anukruti anukruti anu anupaschat anu means following so in that mantra na tatra suryo bhati na chandra tarakam ityadi there is tameva bhantam anubhati sarvam such mantra is there which is in you know is used at uh, many places in vedanta institutions at least in the temples also for arati so that anukarana anubhavanam anubhati based on the shine of the atma paramatma everything else including surya shines forth so everything shines based on the shine of the atma the real luster the real shine basically chaitanya one knows anything as shining forth is because the chaitanya which is brahmatma chaitanya lights up the jnana of the vishaya lights up the vishaya meaning lights up the jnana of the vishaya one knows anything because of this jyoti that is the final meaning really there but then if you say all these are shining the surya is shining the world is shining because of surya at night it is shining because of agni or some lamp so all that is due to what even that surya cannot be seen unless you see unless you see the lamp the lamp cannot be seen let alone the vishaya that you are looking at ghatapatadi so ghatapatadi during the day or night are seen due to surya or the lamp the agni hi during the day or night respectively only because you are seeing if you don't see this sun cannot light up the vishaya the agni of the lamp cannot light up the vishaya they can light up the vishayas who is the real pramana for that atma is the pramana you yourself are the pramana to even cognize that the vishaya is lit up by surya the jyoti hi so even the surya is lit up by atma brahmatma and the jnana takes up only in the wake of this 
లైట్ ఆఫ్ ఆత్మ చైతన్య ఆఫ్ ఆత్మ జ్ఞానరూప చతురూప జ్ఞానం ఆఫ్ ఆత్మ అండ్ సిన్స్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ షైన్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ యూ షైన్ ఫోర్త్ దేర్ ఫోర్ దెర్ ఇస్ అనుభాన దెర్ ఇస్ అనుభాన ఆఫ్ సూర్య ఫాలోయింగ్ ది షైన్ ఆఫ్ ఆత్మ ఫాలోయింగ్ ది లైట్ ఆఫ్ ఆత్మ జ్యోతి ఆఫ్ ఆత్మ దెర్ ఇస్ జ్యోతి ఆఫ్ సూర్య అగ్ని ఇత్యాది అండ్ దెన్ ఆఫ్ ది విషయాస్ ఆల్సో సో దాట్ ఈస్ ది అనుకృతి అనుకృతి ఈజ్ అనుకరణం అనుభానం ది మేనిఫెస్టేషన్ ఆఫ్ సంథింగ్ హియర్ స్పెసిఫికలీ ది లైట్ ది మేనిఫెస్టేషన్ ఆఫ్ ది లైట్ ఈజ్ ఓన్లీ ఆఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎనీథింగ్ ఈవెన్ ది లస్ట్రస్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ ది మేనిఫెస్టేషన్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ లైట్ ఈజ్ ఓన్లీ ఆఫ్టర్ ది ఆత్మ manifests itself in the form of light in the form of jnana literally light and we can take it as jnana also but here the jyotish shabda literally the jyotihi means light there the light is being discussed who does this to whom does this light belong so that is the anukruti adhikaran the first sutra there anukrute stasya cha anukrute stasya cha anukrute he తస్య సో అనుకృతే హే డ్యూ టు అనుకృతి పంచమి ఏకవచన హేతౌ తస్య తస్య మీన్స్ ద తస్య శబ్ద హ్యాస్ బిన్ యూస్ దేర్ తమేవ భాంతం అనుభాతి సర్వం ఇన్ దట్ మంత్ర దేర్ న తత్ర సూర్యో భాతి న చంద్ర తారకం నేమా విద్యుత భాంతి ఆల్ దాట్ మంత్ర దేర్ దత్ తత్ పద హ్యాస్ బిన్ యూస్ and tasya bhasa sarvam idam vibhati ra tasya in shashti ra also been used tasya bhasa sarvam idam vibhati idam sarvam all this idam if you say idam jagat then all this jagat shines forth due to what tasya bhasa tasya cha tasya cha so tasya cha is from the mantra tasya cha tasya cha then tasya bhasa that cha is giving another hetu and because of that tasya tasya shabda has been used therefore also so the sutra artha is what tameva bhantam anubhati sarvam iti anukrute he due to that anukruti as what anubhati anubhati has been used that is anukruti so due to that anukruti in the mantra by using the word anubhati tameva bhantam anubhati sarvam sarvam anubhati after what tameva bhantam tameva bhantam anu following that atma prakasha alone anu following that bhati basically what brahmatma bhati but sarvam anubhati tam anubhati brahmatmanam tam eva bhantam anubhati bhantam సంతం అనుభాతి ఓన్లీ వెన్ ది బ్రహ్మాత్మ షైన్స్ ఫోర్ దెన్ అలోన్ ఏవ శబ్ద ఇస్ దేర్ అనుభాతి సర్వం అనుభాతి ఫాలోయింగ్ దాట్ ఆత్మభాన ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ షైన్స్ ఫోర్ సచ్ అనుకృతి ఇస్ దేర్ అనుకృతి అండ్ దెన్ తస్య భాషా సర్వం ఇదం విభాతి చ therefore what ityataha due to these words anukrute stasya cha iti ataha jyotihi param brahma eva that jyotihi which has been discussed in mundaka in brahmadharnaka and chandogya everywhere that jyotihi really is atma jyoti only therefore atma jyoti that atma ఫస్ట్ వి సే ఆత్మన జ్యోతి ఆత్మజ్యోతి షష్టి తత్పురుష దెన్ విల్ సే రాహో శిరవత్ షష్టి జస్ట్ లైక్ రాహో శిర ఈజ్ ఆల్సో షష్టి బట్ రాహు ఈజ్ శిర దెర్ ఇస్ నో డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ది హెడ్ అండ్ ది అండ్ రాహు సో ది హెడ్ ఆఫ్ రాహు మీన్స్ రాహు ఈజ్ ది హెడ్ సిమిలర్లీ ఇయర్ ఆత్మన జ్యోతి ఆత్మ పరబ్రహ్మ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఈజ్ జ్యోతి సో జ్యోతి పరబ్రహ్మ ఇవ్వ 
दट इज ए सूत्रार्थ अत्र पूर्व पक्षे अलौकिक तेजस उपास्ति ही अलौकिक दि तेज विच इज नॉट नीड नॉट बी जस्ट लेट मी क्रॉस चेक दिस सो अलौकिक सो नॉट लौकिक बट अलौकिक तेज दैट कैंड ऑफ अ ज्योति ही विच इज नॉट लौकिक ज्योति ही बट अलौकिक ज्योति दैट इज उपास्य सो उपास्ति ही सिद्धांत निर्विशेष ब्रह्मधीरी फलभेद सिद्धांत सीजर इन मुंडका देर इज नो उपासना दे तमेव भात अनुभाति सर्व दैट इज नॉट एन उपासना दैट मंत्र इज रिवीलिंग ब्रह्म पर सो ज्ञान कांड इट इज टू बी अंडरस्टूड एस टू ज्योति ही दैट ज्योति फॉलोइंग विच एवरी थिंग शाइन्स फोर दैट इज निर्विशेष ब्रह्म इट इज निर्गुण ब्रह्म एंड धी ज्ञान ऑफ दैट इज वॉट इज रिवील्ड देर इति फल भेद दैट इज ए डिफरेन्स बिटवीन पूर्वपक्षी एंड सिद्धांति मुंडके श्रूयते इन मुंडक उपनिषद मंत्र इज हर्ड न त्र सूर्यो भाति न चंद्र तारक इत्यादि सो देर देर न त्र त्र दैट वॉट वॉट कैंड ऑफ सप्तमी सो दिस विल बी लुक्ड इन टू इन दि लेटर सूत्र ऑल्सो त्र सो न त्र लिटरली से देर सप्तमी अर्थ है त्रल सो दिस त्रल प्रत्यय शो सप्तमी अर्थ न त्र सो इन दैट अधिकरण अधिकरण सप्तमी वॉट कैंड ऑफ अधिकरण विल सी बट इफ यू से काल सप्तमी काल अधिकरण सो विषय और देश बेस्ड ऑन दैट द मीनिंग कैन चेंज बट देन इन दैट स्टेट इन दैट अवस्था बेसिकली और relating to that vishaya or that as a vishaya in that vishaya or at that time all these meanings are possible whichever meaning you take finally what relating to that brahma is vishaya saptami in that jnana avastha can you say there but the tatra is and brahma avastha you cannot say brahma avastha brahma is not kala also so vishaya saptami seems to be the most appropriate so na tatra tasmin vishaye tasmin brahmani atmani vishaye surya na bhati so <coughs> this idea the idea is that brahma is never a vishaya for any jnana literally it is not an object because it is that which becomes a subject in the context of any object being lit up and what is lit up when there is a jnana of any object when the jnana takes place of any object it takes place only in the wake of this atma in each and every cognition there is jnana of atma first that i exist i shine forth and then everything else shines forth it's all really drishti srishti vada there is no pramana needed for one to know that one exists and one is conscious for everything else there is a pramana needed everything else even for vedas to be there the shabda to become pramana atma has to shine forth even for the rishi munis where the veda was revealed to whom the veda were revealed their own existence and consciousness was not revealed by vedas it is swatap pramana by itself you i mean by oneself one knows one exists and that is his brahma tatva vedas also are revealed based on this brahmatva for everything else there is pramana needed to hear the shabda there is pramana but see pratyaksha there is a difference between shabda pramana and pratyaksha pramana in the in pratyaksha the shrotrendriya is also there so the shabda is a vishaya there 
But the Shabda Artha is not a Vishaya. When Shabda Artha becomes a Vishaya, Shabda Bodha takes place that is due to Shabda Pramana. That Shabda Pramana is different from Shrotrendriya Janya Pramana. So that Shrotrendriya Janya Prama. That Shrotrendriya is a Pramana there which is different from the Shabda Pramana because Shabda Pramana causes Shabda Bodha. The Vakyartha Jnana takes place. Whereas hearing the sound is the job of the Pratyaksha Shrotrendriya. There is a difference between the two. But still both of them work only when the Brahmatva is there. The reason I am saying this, stressing the Shrutrendriya and Shabda Bodha there is because the Mundake Shruyate, what has been said, Mundake Shruyate, this also becomes a Pramana only because of Atma Jyoti. In the end, it is all Aikya which is revealed by the Shruti which when understood one knows that where all Pramanas become a Pramana, including Vedas. So there na tatra surya bhati means nobody can light up that Atma. Not even Shruti can really light up the Atma. What does the Shruti light up? The Shruti lights up Jnana in such a manner, the vritti of the Jnana that takes place for which again Atma is a Pramana the real Pramana, Sakshi, that Vritti takes away, Jnana Vritti takes away Ajnana. Ajnana regarding what? Ajnana regarding one's being limited. So for Aikya Shruti is a Pramana, which also can become a Pramana only when the Atma is, is shining forth. Even without one knowing that I shine forth, in the manner the Brahm, Brahma Tattva shines forth, still one knows that I am conscious. That is a shining forth. Only then, Aikya can also be revealed to this Sadaka. For Aikya to be revealed to this Sadaka, this Sadaka has to be conscious. And for that consciousness, there is no Pramana needed. So, Shruti is not a Pramana to reveal the Chaitanyatva of this Atma really. But to say that this Chaitanya is not different from any Chaitanya anywhere and that Chaitanya is one. And at the individual level, it is not a Pramana for Satta and Spurti of Atma because that is self-revealed. But for Ananda, Shruti is really Pramana because Ananda is hidden in such a manner that the way Chaitanya and Satta is known, Ananda is not known. Ananda is always attributed to someone else, but no one attributes Satta of oneself to any, anyone else. Of body, yes, I say that, okay, I am thankful to my parents, they brought me into being. That is the body. But one who knows little bit Shastra, for him, that Atma that I am, that I came into being, regarding that Vishaya, there is no inquiry, but still one knows that I exist. For that, there is no pramana needed. That I am alive and kicking the way we say. I am alive. I am conscious. For that, no pramana is needed. But for ananda, I am ananda. If someone says you are ananda sarupa, when a person is in a lot of dukkha, or even in the, the most happy state also, someone says that this is all your ananda, it is not known. But someone says you, you are conscious, we know. If someone says this consciousness around you, everyone who is conscious, that is you, then we, we do not agree. So for that, Shruti is Pramana. But to say that I am conscious, Shruti is not a Pramana really because it is all well known. Every Prani knows that it is existent and it is conscious. But for Ananda, even a little bit Ananda, <coughs> we look for some Vishaya around. We do not attribute Ananda to ourselves. Some inquiry is needed there. Therefore, Shruti becomes a Pramana even to reveal that individualized Ananda. Then the Aikya of the Brahmananda. That all Ananda is you. Anyway, that is in regard to the Tatra Shabda. The Tatra has such kind of an understanding, uh, uh, such kind of a depth there. Na Tatra Suryo Bhati. There, 
no surya can make this no surya this is not even surya not even surya can make this atma as an object what about chandra taraka not even chandra or any taraka any star nakshatra it nobody can light up this atma it is swayam jyoti hi ityadi mantra is there in mundaka तत्र सूर्यादि जगत भाजकतया प्रतिमा प्रतीयमानम किम तेजो विशेषः उत ब्रह्म इति संशये प्रबलेन तेजसा दुर्बलस्य अभिभव दर्शनात तेजो विशेष इति पूर्व पक्षः सो वेदर दैट सूर्य चंद्र तारक ऑल दैट डिस्कशन इज देयर न तत्र सूर्य इत्यादि भाति सो दैट तत्र तत्र सूर्यादि जगत भाजकतया प्रतीयमानम दैट तत्र इज नॉट दी मंत्रगत तत्र शब्द तत्र इन दैट मंत्र तत्र मीन इन दैट मुंडक मंत्र सूर्यादि जगत भाषकतया प्रतीयमान किम तेजो विशेष सो वॉट शाइन फोर तो डज नॉट शाइन फोर देर न इज देर बट इफ यू टेक वॉट शाइन फोर वॉट डज नॉट शाइन फोर वेन सच डिस्कशन इज देर ऑफ सम विषय प्रकाश विषय विषय फॉर अ प्रकाश फॉर ज्योति दट सूर्यादि जगत भाषकतया the jagat shines forth due to surya adi so similarly that pratiyamana whatever shines forth or does not shine forth in discussion pratiyamanam kim tejo visheshah there is the discussion of that some tejas itself jyoti or brahma so that tatra word there is a is it a teja vishesha tejo vishesha is it some kind of tejas which has been lit? Talk, which, which is being discussed that meaning take an example of chandra science says that chandra does not have its own light it is only the surya which makes the chandra shine forth later so the surya shines first and then the chandra borrows the light of surya and then there is a prakasha it reflects light basically <clears throat> so there chandra is also what chandra chandra prakasha is also some vishesha in shastras we say that the the moonlight is cooling but the sunlight is not cooling so there is a difference between moonlight and sunlight although the moonlight is reflected light it's not the moon's own light but still the moonlight has specific differences compared to the sunlight it is very clear so the way the moonlight is there as though individualized and different so it's a tejo vishesha moonlight is a tejo vishesha compared to the surya jyoti hi surya tejah similarly is this na tatra there that tatra does it stand for some tejo tejo vishesha or not so kim tejo vishesha uta ब्रह्म इति संशय और दैट तत्र स्टैंड्स फॉर ब्रह्म तत्र ब्रह्मणी और डज इट मीन तेजो विशेषे तत्र तेजो विशेषे सम कैंड ऑफ अ तेजस और ब्रह्म व्हेन सच कैंड ऑफ अ द्वंद्व इज देयर संशय प्रबलेन तेजसा दुर्बलस्य अभिभव दर्शनात द पूर्व पक्षी सेज वी नो दैट समथिंग शाइंस फॉर एंड समथिंग डज नॉट शाइन फॉर ऑल और फोर डॉल्सो सो न तत्र न इज दे न तत्र सूर्यो भाति सिफ यू लुक एट इट द चंद्र आल्सो साइंस सेज दैट इट शाइंस आफ्टर द सन शाइंस बट व्हाट इज द मंत्र देयर न तत्र सूर्यो भाति मीनिंग तत्र सूर्य ह न भाति सो दिस तत्र वेयर रिगार्डिंग व्हिच देयर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ समथिंग लाइटिंग अप मीनिंग व्हाट पूर्व पक्षी से तत्र न भाति दट न भाति इट डज नॉट शाइन ही इज टेकिंग द मीनिंग दैट द वे वेन सन कप्स द मून स्टॉप्स टू शाइन फोर यू डोंट लुक लुक फॉर द मून लाइट वेन द सन इज शाइनिंग इवन इफ द मून इज विजिबल द मून मे बी कंप्लीटली विजिबल बट स्टिल देर इज नो शाइन ऑफ द मून वाई बिकॉज देर इज अभिभवन अभिभव दर्शना दुर्बल चंद्र प्रकाश इज वॉश्ड आउट कंपेर्ड टू दि 
or due to not compared to due to the prabala tejas of the surya so prabalena tejasa durbalasya abhibhava darshana since we have seen it is it is seen it is clear that during the day when the sun is shining the nakshatras and the stars and the uh, chandra do not shine forth so that is the meaning there with that example what is being said is it is some tejo visheshaha tejo visheshaha tat pratiyaman tatra iti pratiyamanam tejo vishesha iti purva paksha purva paksha says it is some light which is being discussed there we have to just know what kind of a light and then we meditate upon that there is an upasana to be done siddhantastu however the siddhanti disagrees he says tatha pratiyamanam brahma eva that tatra shabda is with respect to brahma is used with respect to brahma it means brahma kutaha why anikritehe anukrite is the sutra anukrite he due to anukriti anukriti anukaranam the meaning of anukriti shabda is anukaranam following on sir there is a there is some following on what is that tameva bhantam anubhati sarvam visadi mantra artha iti anubhana since that anu bhati anubhana has been used tinganta anubhati anubhana is bhave lut so due to that anubhana anubhati iti shabdena anubhanam pucchate that anubhana shining forth later following something following the atma tam that tam is atmanam pullinga and tat here the tatra there that that is with respect to brahma so i k is also discussed there if you look at it further you will see one pullinga and one napunsak linga there is atma and brahma aikya in samanadi karana being shown iti anubhana due to that anubhana so shining forth later has been shown there is no abhibhava there is no abhibhava being discussed there is no wash out of something due to something else due to surya prakash there is no wash out but what has been shown what, what has been shown there is anubhana there is shining forth of others other sources of light only after this entity that entity shines forth not this that tam nahi surya adikam tejah tejavantaram anubhati so here ji loke tad darshanat there is nothing known in the loka as to something shines what is that nahi surya adikam tejah tejo antaram anubhati is surya in the world is not seen to shine forth after something shines so surya ityadi we don't see in the loka the scientist says that the chandra shines after the sun shines but loke do you see in the with your pratyaksha pramana do you don't see such things as to one light shines forth after another light we don't even need such things so you look at a lamp the light of the lamp one light of the lamp does not need another light of another lamp to show itself the very idea of the light is that the one light is sufficient for itself the lights is to illuminate others but it illuminates itself you don't need another prakasha to see a source of any prakasha a lamp the flame of the lamp is seen by that very flame of the lamp you don't need another flame to show this flame so nahi suryadikam tejah tejo antaram anubhati loke tadar darshanat we don't see such things tarhi praptam svatah suryader bharam ityatrah puro pakshi says okay good i agree therefore what therefore praptam tarhi in that case you yourself have said स्वतः सूर्यादेर भानम सूर्यादी द सूर्या डज नॉट शाइन फोर्थ ड्यू टू समथिंग एल्स देन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट माय पक्ष आई एम आल्सो सेइंग द सेम थिंग सूर्या डज नॉट हैव अ बोरोड प्रकाश सूर्या हैज इट्स ओन प्रकाश देयरफॉर यू हैव आल्सो कंक्लूडेड द वे आई हैव सो वेलकम टू माय पक्ष सेज द पूर्व पक्षी तरी प्राप्तम स्वतः स्वतः सूर्यादेर भानम सो सूर्यादेर भानम स्वतः भवति न तु अनुभानम 
So Surya shine for, Surya ityadi shine for by themselves. They don't need other prakasha. This is what I have been saying all along. Tatraha. So ityatraha. If Pura Pakshi says such a thing, then he is also answered there. Tashit chaiti bhasa sarva midam vibhati. That tashit cha in this sutra tells us that there is a mantra following that. Meaning there is a vakya following. Vakya shesha is there. Tameo bhanta manu bhati saram then tashit bhasa idam sarvam vibhati. Iti Brahma Bhasa Bhasya Tvavagamat. So there Tasya Brahmanaha Chaiti. That is the revealing thing there. As to the mantra says that Tameo Bhantam and then Tasya Bhasa Sarvamidam Vibhati. If you have any confusion there, because in Loka you don't see such Anubhana, therefore Suryadi are not being talked about if that is a confusion. That Surya Ityadi have their own Prakasha? No. Sarvam idam. All is Surya also and everything else. Idam Sarvam. In, the entire Prapancha inclusive of the ones which are seen as Prakasha Sarupa, Surya, Chandra, Taraka Ityadi. Iti Brahma Bhasa Bhasyatva Avagamat. It is understood. It is not a Dhyana. There is Avagama Dhyana of Bhasyatva of all of these. Idam Sarvam. Due to what? Bhas of Brahma. So Brahma Bhasa due to the shine of Brahma. Nacha viparitam kim nasyaditi vachyam. If you, the Puro Pakshi say that, oh, it can be other way around also. We have not seen in the world that something is lit up. By itself, we always see that Surya lights up or something else lights up. So we need Brahma also be, to be lit up by someone else. So why can't it be that Suryadi are lighting up Brahma? Nacha viparitam kimnasya iti vachyam. Meaning viparitam kimnasya iti nacha vachyam. You should not say, you the Purva Pakshi should not say that Brahma may shine forth. Because Tath is a pronoun used there. That Tath need not necessarily stand for Brahma. So Tathsecha need not necessarily mean Brahmana. Brahmana cha. It can mean, Tathsecha can stand for anything. It can be the Surya Ityadi, so Idam Sarvam, including Brahma, is lit up by so Viparita. If you do it, you know, an opposite interpretation, you should not do. Say this Siddhanti Iti, Nacha Vachyam, why? Tat Shubram Jyotisham Jyotihi, Iti Vakyo Pakrame, Brahmana Swayan Jyotish Tvavagamat. Why? Because it has already been discussed in the opening. That itself is concluding in the Mundaka later. In Mundaka opening, Tat Shubram Jyotisham Jyotihi has been discuss there. The opening statement is that Jyotisham Jyoti. He, it is the light of all Jyotis. So Surya Jyoti is part of this Jyotisham uh, Shashti there. Of the Surya also Jyoti. He, that is Brahma Jyoti. And that itself is being discussed here as Tasya Bhasa Saravidam Vibhati. Iti Vakyo Pakramendi opening of the Mundaka Mantra itself. Brahmana Swayan Jyotishtva Vagamath. It is that Shubram, because Tat is what Shubram, that Tat there is the same Tat which is Tasya here in Shashti in the following, following Vakya Shesha Mantra. So Tat Shubram, Jyotihi, of all Jyotis, Jyotisham Jyoti, it is a Jyoti for all. That Tat is Shubra. Shubra without any qualification, meaning it is the limitless shine, Chaitanya, that was to Tat is declined as tasya cha iti bhas tasya cha so this i don't know whether tasya cha is from the sutra then tasya bhasa sarvam idam vibhati is the mantra there so that bhasyatvam of that that tat of that 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 word is there in the opening mantra as tat shubram so iti vakyo pakrame brahmana swayam jyotishto avagamat swayam jyotishta jyotishta swarupa of Brahma is Jyoti Swarupa by itself it shines and does not need any other light is already known and then na tatra iti tat shabdena tasyeva prakriti prakriti jyotisha paramarshad and then tatra there is also what tat plus tral pratyat na tatra that tatra 
to which the tral pratyaya has been added that tat there is also the same tat which is tat shubram tasya is also same tat which is tat shabdam in the opening mantra iti tat shabdena tasya prakruta jyotishah paramarsha that jyoti itself is being discussed there tat and jyoti are in samadarikram jyoti is also neuter tat is also neuter there then prakruta jyotishah paramarsha that in the context same jyoti is being discussed in the लेटर मंत्र एस्टू नतत्र सूर्यो भाति इत्यादि अतः स्वयं ज्योति ही सूर्यादि सकल जगत अवभाषकम ब्रह्मैव न तु लौकिकं तेजः और अलौकिकं तेजः सो इदर इट इज लौकिक तेज और अलौकिक तेज व्हाटएवर यू डिस्कस देयर दैट तेजस इज नॉट बीइंग डिस्कस देयर एट ऑल अतः स्वयं ज्योति ही सूर्यादि सकल जगत अवभाषकम ब्रह्मैव द एंटायर द इल्यूमिनेटर ऑफ द एंटायर प्रपंच इज including suryadi is brahmatma alone not to laukikam teja not any tejas which you know here or alaukika also because alaukika has been used in the opening i will just cross check in the book also there is alaukika there so whichever is laukika or alaukika teja is to be taken as upasya is not right you have to understand that all of it whether laukika or alaukika teja is there whether you consider that heaven shines because juloka is ju there is prakasha so you can bring in that also alaukika so all of that is what it is it is to be known there is jnana tat tasya atra aprakrutva aprakrutatva diti siddham because it is out of context here it is out of context you cannot bring in laukik or alaukik a teja here because tejas is not literal there being discussed it is it is the revelation of everything happens in the wake of atma that is the idea there and that atma is one with brahma it is a jnana kanda which shows aikya asmin shrutyuktarthe smritin darshetum aha then there is another example given as to if at all there is confusion you look at how the smriti also deals with this kind of a vishaya this mantra is there in is paraphrase in geeta also so therefore uh, that smriti will become a pramana if at all there is a confusion in shruti meaning or across shrutis if there is a confusion as to what is the meaning you look at what is the smriti saying and then you can conclude as to our analysis being right api cha smaryate api cha smaryate so and also smaryate in bhagavad gita all this meaning is recollected there is a smriti regarding this mantra or this set of mantras what is that na tad bhasayate suryo na shashanko na pavakah yad aditya gatan tejo jagat bhasayate khilam iti bhagavad gita su smaryate ityartha so in bhagavad gita also there is paraphrasing of this very uh subject matter really paraphrasing of this mantra with this subject matter in mind so in the 15th chapter you see purushottam yoga there you have 6th and the 12th shloka so 6th shloka and 12th shloka both discuss this very subject na tad bhasayate surya surya तद न भासेते सूर्य डज नॉट डज नॉट लाइट अप तत दैट ब्रह्म न शशांक न पावक सो लेट अलोन दी अदर्स चंद्र इत्यादि न नॉट इवन अग्नि ही लौकिक और अलौकिक अग्नि नो नथिंग कैन लाइट अप दिस दैट दैट तत्व यद आदित्य गतन तेज जगत भाषे किलम वॉट इज दैट दैट आदित्य गत तेज इज ऑलो वॉट इट इज दिस तेज अलोन जगत भाषे अखिलम जगत भाषे न तो आत्मा ब्रह्मात्मा दैट इज दईडिया देर इफ यू लुक यू विल सी सच मीनिंग इन स्मृति ऑलसो भगवदगीतासु स्मरते इन मेनी सच भगवदगीता श्लोका यू सी दट ऐडिया बीइंग क्लारीफाइड सो दिस इज दि अधिकरण the next adhikarana that comes up is pramita adhikaranam so some similar topic has come up earlier as to the size of 
Atma being discussed. As per the Pura Bhakshi, there is a so all these uh, you know the Angusta Matra Purusha Ityadi mantras which talk about the Parimana. Parimana, the measure of Atma, the size of Atma. As per Pura Bhakshi, it is literally the size being discussed, and therefore it is Jiva who is of that size, not Parabrahma. So with that in mind, this Adhikarana comes up. Purvam Anubhanadina Lingena Tatraiti Visheshaptamin Kritva Nabhati Ityadu Nijadhyarayana Nija Nijanta Prayoga has been done. Prayoga, not Nijanta Prayoga literally, but Nijan Nija Adhyahara. So Nich Nich Adhyaharena Nijadhyarayana so nich is hetumati nich causative although such form is not seen the see that bhasayate there that bhasayate is very clear there as it is nijanta meaning surya na bhasayate means surya does not illumine does not light up so their causative is seen but in the earlier, na tatra suryo bhati na chandra tarakam, there that bhati, so bhana anubhati, anubhati is clear, but na tatra suryo bhati, the sun does not shine. If you say there, there the sun does not shine, literally that meaning is not right. If you look at the mantra and bhashya there, you will see this bhati is actually, you have to do nija adhyahara. Na? So that is what is done in smriti. So if you look at it, Na tats, tatra, you can say tat as tatra also. Tat can be taken as avya also. And you will say, na tatra surya bhasayate. If you see it as the mantra, na tatra suryo bhati has been taken as na tatra suryo bhasayate. So bhasayate, so nija adhyara has been done in this smriti to make it clear that it is not, that the sun does not shine there. But the sun does not light it up. The sun, the sun does not light that up. That is the meaning there. Tasmin vishaye surya na bhasayate. Na bhati is na bhasayate na prakashayate tyartha. Does not make it an object of the sunlight. Atma does not become the subject of the surya prakasha also. The Surya does not illuminate, does not light up that. So, Nija, Nij Adhyahara has been done. So, Nija Adhyahara is Nij. Hetumati Nij Adhyahara has been done as to read Bhati as Bhasayate. So, there, Purvam Anubhana Dina Lingena, that Anubhana becomes a Linga because what has been said? Surya also, Tasya Bhasa Sarva Midam Vibhati, before that Tameo Bhantam Anubhati Sarva, so Anubhati, this Shabda Anubhati, Tameo Bhantam Anubhati Sarvam, Surya Dayaha, so Suryadi Sarvam, so if it is Suryadi in neuter, Suryadi Sarvam Anubhati, then Surya Ityadi shined forth after the Atma shines, after that shines, Tam, after that shines, with that Linga, you reinterpret this bhati as what? Bhasayate. This is what the uh, introduction to the next adhikarana says. Puram anubhana dina lingena tatra iti vishaya saptamim krutva. So then this vishaya saptami, tatra is taken as vishaya saptami. Tasmin vishaye. Vishaya saptamim krutva. Na bhati ityadu. Then na bhati, there nija adhyahara has to be done. Ityado nija adhyaharena that has been done and thereby na bhasayate or na bhasayati both are valid because uh, nijanta declines like first gana but uh, it, has, it becomes a new dhatu which is ubhayapadi. So there na bhasayati na bhasayate either way ityartha varnita praya in Gita na bhasayate has been done in the mantra Bhashya, you can look up the bhati has to be seen as nijanta and then bhasayati. Same meaning, bhasayati or bhasayati, same meaning there. 
does not illuminate the sun does not illuminate that that kind of a meaning you have landed on with this anubhana as linga in the mantra na bhaseti ityartha varnita praya generally this is the meaning that has been explained tatha iha api angushta matra iti parimana linga jeevamada ishanu asmi iti bhavayet iti vidhi adhyaharena upasti param angushta vakyam astu iti drishtant sangatya idamaha now he is extending this kind of a linga becoming the pramana for tatpare nischaya linga so uh, puru yamsaka linga not the linga that is used as for paramarsha this linga is what uh, not the uh, tarkikas paramarsha but this linga is what shruti linga ityadi that mimamsas shat pramanas so the linga becomes the pramana to do nijadhyaya nichadhyara nijadhyara similarly in angushta matra angushta matra purusha such mantras are there their angushta matra shabda is what size of the angushta matra is only the size of an angushta of the thumb the size of the thumb that should become the linga iti parimana linga because it's a linga which is a measure so that measure should become a linga linga jeeva madaya therefore the measure of the thumb cannot be parmatma's measure it has to be measure of the jeeva alone so jeeva madaya ishanah asmi so where that purusha is to be meditated upon who is that this jeeva should be meditated upon as ishanah as ishwara alone ishanah asmi iti so it is that brahma i am brahma asmi kind of a mahavakya artha you should not bring here says the puro pakshi there is no aikya being talked there that angushta matratvam is not parmatma at all in the hridaya akasha who is that that is jeeva and that jeeva should be meditated upon one meditates that in the hridaya i exist as what as brahma i should meditate it is not jnana there it is not parmatma at all it is only jeeva who you know thinks about himself as isha isha asmi iti bhavaye that bhavana should be brought there is no jnana there and therefore it will become an upasana earlier what has been discussed angushta matra that stands for parmatma or not then we have said it is parmatma here pura pakshi says no it is jeeva and there is an upasana that although you see this as ishwara it, it is not literal it is not uh, uh, jnana at all in this bhavana one should meditate iti bhavaye iti vidhi adhyarana you should do adhyara of vidhi just like you did nich adhyara then in the mantra when you say angushta matra purusho jyotirvad dhumakah isha no bhuta bhavyasya ityadi so such mantra that is going to come up in kathopanishad ishanah bhuta bhavyasya ishanah jyotihi shabda so jyotihi is also gone by there jyotihi iva adhumakah this you know very clear smokeless kind of a clarity is there there is no smoke at all very clear one who shines for that jyoti he is purushah who is angushta matra meaning uh, jeeva size uh, thumb size jeeva purusha who is jyoti swarupa very clear ishana bhuta bhavyasya bhutasya bhavyasya cha so bhuta bhavyasya there he is ishwara of everything really everything in every kala also if you look at it bhuta bhavya so ishanah that bhavana should be maintained says the purva pakshi iti uh, so uh, this mantra is going to be talked about but vidhi adhyaran now ishanah bhuta bhavya say just a statement so there where is the vidhi if the siddhanti asks purva pakshi says vidhi adhyara has to be done of course if the uh, if there is no tinganta tinganta has to be supplied eka tinga vakyam iti niyama so some niyama is there eka tinga there should be some tinganta without that there cannot be a vakya okay let it be that without tinganta also if there is a vakya you do adhyara of tinganta and in vedas every lakara is late lakara really 
every lakara is a vidhi basically great lakara is is vidhi 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 linga meaning so vidhi linga meaning is there for any verb that you add there so some verb has to be added if it is not there if it is there well and good we will say it is late it is vidhi if it is not there anyway you have to add therefore which word will you add which verb will you add you will add vidhi so vidhi adhyaharena because with one linga earlier that anuhara become became a linga and therefore you did a did a nich adhyahara in bhati and made it and bhasayati now similarly here also in angushta matra purusha even if there is no vidhi there you have to do vidhi adhyahara why because linga is there angushta matra will become linga for some adhyahara and therefore you can do mivamsa in this manner and add a vidhi vidhi adhyaharena उपास्ति परम अंगुष्टवाक्यम अस्तु इति दृष्टांत संगत्य इदम सो ही यूज दिस लिंग व्हिच हैज बीन यूज्ड टू डू निच अध्यारा एज एन एग्जांपल एंड ही एक्सटेंड्स इट टू अंगुष्ट मात्र इत्यादि मंत्र एंड सेइंग दैट अंगुष्ट मात्र इज अ लिंग वेयर यू हैव टू डू अनदर अध्यारा देयर यू डू विधि अध्यारा एंड देयर बाय यू विल गेट उपास उपासना ऑफ दिस अंगुष्ट मात्र जीव एज this ishanaha bhuta vavyasi ishana in this manner you do upasana that will become the vidhi and then the vakya is has tatpare in upas is upasti param meaning has tatpare in upasana angushta uh, angushta vakyam astu let it be so that mantra katha mantra let that mantra be a vidhi for upasana of the limited jiva as ishvara But there is no jnana there. It is the Rishtan Sangatya Idamaha Pramita Adhikaranam. And thereby Pramita Adhikaranam has come up. Shabda Deva Pramitaha. Shabda Deva Pramitaha. So Shabda Shabda Eva Pramitaha. Pramitaha this Parimana. One who has this Parimana. Pramita means one who has this Parimana. Pramitaha. Kaha Pramitaha Parimitaha. So Pramita means Parimita. One who has has been limited to a particular size what size angushta matra so angushta matratvam that is the parimita a measured limited size which has been made by the shruti by saying angushta matra shabda deva so shabda deva there due to the shabda that's the shabda which is there as to ishano bhuta bhavyasya there is a word used there so with this shabda itself the ishvara himself is as though limited by the shabda there uh, there are multiple meanings here the shabda shruti shruti is there so here the vritti takes the meaning as this shruti is prabala compared to linga so the linga is a pramana you are saying to do upasana vidhi adhyahara instead of that shruti itself is there ishanaha bhuta bhavyasa is a literal shruti there therefore shabda deva ishana iti shabda deva pramitah so pramita here you actually you really know that the limited size is also of that ishvara alone not of jiva so is been mentioned there is not jiva at all it is ishvara alone just give me a moment there is okay uh, so the that is the meaning of the sutra atra puro pakshe atra puro pakshe jiva upasti hi there is a jiva upasana says the puro pakshi there is upasana of jiva as ishvara by vidhi adhyara now the um, uh, siddhanti says siddhanti tasya paramatmataya dhir iti phala beda but siddhanti says it is not upasana at all there is no vidhi adhyara needed because shruti is sakshat saying that ishana bhuta bhavyasya angushta matra and ishana harim samanadi karanim one who is the jagatkarta that ishvara 
is no one other than this one who is hidden in the hridayakasha as angushta matra jiva so it is not jiva at all it is the same paramatma so shabda deva pramitah pramitah jiva if is angushta matra pramitah brahmaheva that is the sutra artha shabda deva so pramitah brahmaheva kutah shabda deva so you can read it in this manner shabda deva due to the very word in the shruti ishanah bhuta bhavyasya iti shabda deva pramitah parimitah brahmaheva angushta matra iti pramitah parimitah brahmaheva paramatma eva so paramatma tasya eva paramatma taya dhir iti phala veda kathavallishu shruyate now this is easy so i'll finish this kathavallishu shruyate angushta matra purusha jyoti rivadhumakah ishano bhuta bhavyasya iti we have seen the mantra artha also in the introduction itself of the sutra so tatra kim ayam angushta vakya pratipadyo jeevah uta brahma iti sandehe jeeva iti purva paksha purva pakshi says that uh, this angushta vakya pratipadya is jeeva or not angushta matraha that kind of a word is used in the vakya there in the mantra katha mantra so one who is revealed by the word or what is the padartha of that angushta matra word is it jiva or not uta brahma iti sande jiva iti purva paksha purva paksha is angushta matra cannot be brahma cannot be the limitless parmatma it has to be jiva siddhantas tu pramitah vakya pratipadya pratyak bhinna parmatma eva so pramita is really what pramajanya so that one who is known from the pramana there who is vakya pratipadya that pramitah parimita even if it is limited size that is the prama there it is not that jnana there and that then you do vidhi adhyara ityadi all that should not be done why pramitah vakya pratipadya pratyaka bhinna parmatma eva one who is revealed there as angushta matra parimana that is pratyaka bhinna parmatma eva it is not different from the one who has taken the jivatva bhava jeeva bhava jeevatvam that is ishwara alone parmatma alone parmatma eva and who is non different from the individualized innermost not the individualized really innermost is not really individualized in each and every individualized jeeva who is the innermost atma that pratyaka bhin pratyagatma pratyaki pratyagatma pratyagatma bhinna parmatma pratyagatma bhinna parmatma eva the pratyagatma who is non different from paramatma that kind of brahma is the meaning of angushta matra purusha kutah why shabda deva shabda de ishano bhuta bhavyasya ityatra ishana shabda due to that ishana shabda being used that shabda is shrutihi literally and that shrutihi is prabala compared to linga any linga or nyapaka shabda you you need a nyapaka shabda which will to which you have to Uh, you know to which you have to imagine a shruti due to which you have to imagine a shruti so all these uh, the uh, pramanas in mimamsa shruti linga ityadi there when you have a uttar uttara si shruti linga vakya prakaran sthana samakhyanam samavaye paradorbalyam artha prakarshat is the jaimini sutra there so shruti is the most important pramana why shruti is there you don't need anything sakshat shabda is there shabda shabda deva you don't need anything else you don't need to use a linga what happens if shruti is there then bodha takes place ishanah bhuta bhavyasya bodha takes place now only if something else is contradictory then you will need something some other pramana or even if shruti is not there then you will say who is this this tat tat shabda what does it stand for there if there is nothing in samana adikrana which is a shruti shabda itself then you need linga you look for other vakyas and then use linga as we did earlier anubhana has been used there so anubhana linga can be there because sakshat shruti shabda is not there to explain in that section as to what that bhati is ityadi therefore linga is needed but shruti when shruti is there then linga is not needed because shruti herself will that shruti shabda itself will cause vak 
शब्द बोध बट इफ यू हैव लिंग एज अ सेकेंड प्रमाण सिंह श्रुति इज लैकिंग देन यू हैव टू इमेजिन अ श्रुति दैट इज दैट हैज गौरव इफ द थिंग इज देर देन इट इज लाघव ओनली बट कंपेर्ड टू दी अर्लियर श्रुति देर इज गौरव कंपेर्ड टू दी लेटर वाक्य प्रकरण इत्यादि प्रमाण देर इज लाघव बिकॉज यू हैव टू इमेजिन ओनली श्रुति when you have linga you have to imagine only shruti if there is vakya as pramana then linga has to be imagined and based on that based on the vakya linga has to be imagined and based on the linga shruti has to be imagined so you have multiple levels of kalpana to be done as to such a shruti exists you have to think of such a shruti and similarly as you go to the towards the sixth pramana more and more things have to be imagined there is a lot to be done therefore the later pramanas are weaker than the earlier pramanas therefore samavay par but if if at all there is there is both shruti and linga now you are saying linga is there we agree linga is there okay linga is there as to angushta matratvam is linga but shruti sakshat is there so samavay whenever there is shruti and linga or shruti linga vakya prakarana sthana samakhya all are there let's imagine some Situation where all of these pramanas are there, then para dhorubalyam artha prakarshaat. Then there is, as you go to the later and later pramana, there is there is weak weakness in them. There is no strength to land on the tatparya. Therefore, what Siddhanta stu pramita vakya pratipadya pratyega bhinna paramatma kuta shabda devi ishana bhuta hovesi ityatra ishana shabda. Ishana shabda is a shruti. प्रबला न च परमात्म अंगुष्ट मतृत्वती एंड देन इफ यू से नो देर इज अ विरोध बिकॉज इवन इफ श्रुति इज स्ट्रांगर इट इज नॉट मेकिंग सेंस हाउ कैन परमात्मा ईश्वर बिकम अंगुष्ट मात्र अंगुष्ट मतृत्व अनुभवती नास्ति दिस वी हेव सीन अर्लियर ऑलसो अंगुष्ट मात्र जीवाद ब्रह्म भेद बोधना सामंजसम नौ अंगुष्ट मात्र जीव जीव इज नोन एज अंगुष्ट मात्र अनुवाद एंड अनुवाद श्रुति डिंग एन अनुवाद वॉट यू नो फ्रॉम अदर प्लेसेस एज अंगुष्ट मात्र जीव दैट जीव विच यू ऑलरेडी नो हू एज अंगुष्ट मात्र इज नो वन अदर देन ब्रह्म सो ब्रह्म अभेद बोधना बिकॉज दि स्टेटमेंट इज रिवीलिंग दैट अंगुष्ट मात्र पुरुष इज ईशान भूत भव्यश्वर एव सह ईश्वर एव सह अंगुष्ट मात्र जीव विच यू ऑलरेडी नो इज ईशान ईश्वर अलोन सो देर इज एन ऐक्या बीइंग रिवील्ड देयर ब्रह्म अभेद बोधना देयर इज अ अभेद विद ब्रह्म व्हिच इज बीइंग रिवील्ड हियर इति समंजसम सो दिस इज द द राइट तात्पर्य निश्चय राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग देयर देयर इज नो उपासना देयर एंड अर्लियर वी हैव सीन अंगुष्ट मातृत्व फॉर उपासना आल्सो इफ इट इज देयर इन उपासना कांड आल्सो इट कम्स अप देयर दैट अंगुष्ट मातृत्व इज देयर एज टू व्हाट द फल ऑफ दैट उपासना इज देयर ओनली व्हेन यू see this ishwara as being in hrudaya desha taking that size as do so it is a it's an aid for the upasaka now this upasaka who knows that it is an aid will have no trouble when aikya is being discussed if that is not understood upasana itself is not clearly understood then here also it will appear like a like an upasana if it is clearly understood also this may it may appear like an upasana but here it is jnana the upasana that you did earlier of imagining parmatma as limited in the hrudaya akasha here now in kathavalli it is saying that the upasana is actually to make you ready for this jnana it is it is that very jiva you consider yourself to be who is ishwara is not different at all from ishwara so is a jnana kanda not upasana but this upasana discussion has come up with the angushta matra it is dhar akasha was also discussing the same entity with a different set of words but it was the same angushta matra purusha uh, okay so we'll stop here we'll continue in the next part ha
आमनाएं दुख समुचित धम आदि मध्यांत और जितम आनंद 